One million Americans will travel for the 4th of July holiday, and while airports are preparing for a flood of passengers, by land and by air, Americans are showing their independence by being on the move for the holiday, a potentially record rush out of town. Our viewer chief Dal Canopy has a front row seat to the rush. Dal is joining us live from I-16 near Brooklyn. All right, Dal, how's it looking? At times, like someone opened a floodgate, Don, and it started earlier in the afternoon than we usually see. Predictions are Georgians will travel this holiday in record numbers. Take a look at some video from just a little earlier this afternoon. According to AAA, 1.6 million Georgians will travel at least 50 miles between now and late Tuesday night. That's almost 70,000 more than the record that, that was set just last year. The travel numbers have rebounded from the pandemic and exceeded what used to be the averages. Now, troopers tell me they'll be out on the roads even with the holiday period stretching longer. They say that they see an increase in DUIs around the 4th, especially when the timing makes for an extended weekend. Great, we, we still hit the DUIs uh, fervently, but it, it is whether it's 6 o'clock in the morning or 6 in the evening, whatever time, we, we see an increase because people do take off during this time. Now, in addition to driving sober, he urges drivers to make sure they're alert and not sleepy before they get on the road, especially this evening after work. Don't make it a race to get where you're going and don't drive distracted. Make sure your vehicle is safe before you head out on the roadway. Live on Interstate 16, Dow Kennedy, WTOC News.